Hello, sports fans and baseball fans and status pro baseball fans, which I have a lot of out there. Status pro does pretty well for me on my channel, so I have another status pro game for you here today. This is going to be the 1978 Atlanta Braves playing the 1978 New York Mets. Both teams not very good, so it may be a good matchup. Um, the pitching matchup today is going to be Adrian Devine for the visiting Atlanta Braves and Craig Swan for the home standing Mets. Now as you notice on the board, if you're familiar with the Status Pro board, the, they, they put the uh, visiting team on this side and they put the home team on this side. But I'm reversing it because that's how I'm used to it looking. So we have our fast action cards when we need them. However, I am playing with my own modified way to play the game with dice, with two eight-sided dice and two six-sided dice to determine um, who is in control. You can see Adrian Devine is going to be a starter uh, reduction of 14 to start the game, and Craig Swan is a starter reduction of 12 to start the game. So. Let's take a look at the lineups that we're gonna have here. Um, you can see for the uh, Braves, you're gonna have uh, Roland Office in center field, Gary the Sarge Matthews in left, Dale Murphy at first, Burroughs in right, Bob Horner at third base, Royster at short, Biff Pokoroba at catcher, Glenn Mother Hubbard at second base and Adrian Devine the pitcher and then the starting uh, lineup for the Mets will be Elliot Maddox in right field, Lee Mazzilli in center, Dave Henderson in left, Willie Montanez at first base, Valentine at third, Stearns at catcher, Tim Foley at shortstop, Flynn at second and Craig Swan pitching and then there they are listed down there in the pitching box. Um, I'm really only using the uh, score sheet to just keep track of where I am. I'm not really uh, so much concerned about the statistics of like what the particular outs and everything are. So, with that having been said, let's get on with the game. We're going to have Roland Office batting first. The pitcher in, the, uh, in charge is going to be a 7, so it will be Roland Office. Um, or wait a minute. No, it's going to actually be Craig Swan. Craig Swan is in charge on this, and it is an 83, which is going to be an out. And then um, we will flip the card to see what kind of an out. And he is a an LN. So LN says FD9. So that is going to be a, a deep fly to the uh, right fielder, and he is out. That's all I really care about is that he's out. So Gary Matthews um, is up. I will, however, say who it is an out to, and you might even be able to see from the cards, but um, just so in case you're scoring at home. That is a four, so Swan is in charge, and it is a 61, and um, a 61 is going to be um, an out. That is in the out range for Swan, so let's see. Um, he is an RP, so you can see all go F2, so that is a uh, foul out to the catcher, and then Murph, um, yeah, Dale Murphy comes up. Two down, nobody on, and Dale, mighty Dale Murphy gets an, an eight is still Swan in charge, and a 34 is going to be a walk. So that is a walk, I believe that's, is that what they would uh, do? walk yeah i suppose so so dale murphy walks and uh that brings up jeff burrows and 
And Jeff Burrows gets a 9 and a 74. 9 is going to be Jeff Burrows in charge, but a 74, as we well know, is going to be an out. And we will see what kind he is, an RP. And RP is uh, ground out. One doesn't really matter uh, what kind of ground out, because that is the third out. So he is out. So, no runs come in for Atlanta in the first. We go to the bottom of the second, or bottom of the first. And that will bring up Elliot Maddox for the Mets to face Adrian Isn't It Divine. And also, there was a walk there last inning, so we have to reduce Swan by walk. And that is a 5 and an 18. That is going to be Divine in charge, but... Um, an 18 is going to be a single to center field. So you've got a hit right off the bat by uh, Elliot Maddox. And um, <clears throat> we'll reduce Divine by one. And Lee Mazzilli is up. And you got a 10, which means Mazzilli will be in charge, and it's a 17, and that's going to be something, too. That is, in fact, a, a single to center, another single to center field. So the Mets have something brewing here with two singles for the first two batters, and Divine reduced down to 12, and Dave Henderson is up. And Dave Henderson gets a 6 and a 57. Now, 6 is going to be on Henderson's card, and a 57 is just off his card. It's going to be an out. He is an RN. So we look at RN. All go G1, so we're going to check that on the... Um, that's a, well, it's probably a ground out to the, um, to the uh, pitcher, but we're going to check on the chart. Okay, that was a ground ball double play to the pitcher, so there are two outs with the runner moving to third. And that brings up Willie Montanez. And that is an 11 and an 85. An 11 will be on Montanez's card, and that is also going to be a CD, though. So we're going to check the CD. All right, Montanez lined out to the right fielder. And so that does it for the Mets in the first. And we will go to the top of the second with the uh, Braves coming up. And Bob Horner is going to be the batter. I have, for, I have been remiss in checking for errors, so I'll have to keep that in mind. Uh, 7 and a 57, so um, it is going to be uh, Craig Swan in charge. And a 57 will be an out. And we will refer to the, uh, he is a uh, an RP. And RP is a G6A, so it's a ground out to the shortstop with a possible error. And we will check for the error. And um, it says there's no error. So there is no error on that. And he is out. So um, Bob Horner is out. And that brings up Jerry Royster. Jerry Royster gets a 10 and a 71. And a 10 will be on Royster's card. And a 71 is going to be an out. And he is an RN. And we will check the RN. And uh, that says a GX1. Um, and we will also, it's a ground ball to the pitcher. We'll check out for the um, error. And there is no error. So it is an out. The pitcher throws him out. And that brings up Biff Pokoroba. I, you know, I put him in the lineup just because I like the name. And uh, three and a 77. So that is going to be in uh, Craig Swan in charge. And a 77 will be an out. He is an SN. 
And an SN is Algo G6 with a possible error. We will check for the error. And there's, uh, that says there is none, so there's no error. And the Braves are out in the second. And we go to the bottom of the second inning. With the Mets coming up. And not with Willie Montanez, because he made the last out. This is Bobby Valentine, the former manager of the New York Mets and the Texas Rangers, if you'll remember. And a very unpopular figure. And that gets an 8 and a 77. 8 on Adrian Devine. That means it's going to be on Valentine's card. And a 77 is going to be in the out range for Valentine. He is an RN, all go F8, uh, but it was on Valentine's card, so we'll check for the error, and there is no error. So, Valentine is out. And that brings up Johnny Stearns, and John Stearns, I forgot, I'm not using the cards mainly, I'm using mainly dice. And that is a 10 and a 31. 10 will be on Stearns' card. And a 31. It's going to be a home run. Can you believe it? John Stearns going deep. John Stearns. I'm going to say that again. John Stearns going deep. So there is a home run. A one run uh, homer for John Stearns and that brings Tim Foley to the plate and then again I'm not picking a card for Tim Foley so I'm rolling the dice I'm well not picking a card right now that's an 8 and an 88 so that will be on and also that reduces Divine by 2 for the home run and the run um 8 and an 88, that'll be on Foley's card, but it is an out, and we will go to the RN, and uh, he's an RN, and uh, it's an F2, and it was on Foley's card, so we'll check for the error, and the error says there is none, so there is no error, and Foley is out, and there's two down, and that brings up Doug Flynn, who... Uh, um, Bill James, Bill James, um, once said of, uh, of Doug Flynn that he had, um, that his, the people, he said that people say about Doug Flynn that he has, um, his, he has intangible qualities and he's, and Bill James said the reason that they're intangible is because they don't exist. So anyway, we've got Doug Flynn up at the plate. With two down and a run having scored for the Mets on a home run by John Stearns. And that is a four, so it's going to be Adrian Devine finally in charge again uh, with an 83. So that will be an out. And John Stearns is, or uh, Flynn is an RN. And an RN is all go G5. And uh, they will check for the air because of the asterisk. And error 9 to 10. Um, on the um, on the uh, third baseman, and it would appear that that is not going to be an error. Let's see, Horner is a four, so that is not an error, and they are out of the inning. Flynn gets out. And one run comes in for the Mets in the second. We go to the top of the third. It's one nothing Mets with Glenn Old Mother Hubbard up at the plate. And that is an 8 and a 72. 8 on, uh, it is going to be Swan in charge. And a 72 will, of course, be an out. And he is an RN. And an RN says, it says all go F8, and it was on his card, so we don't need it. Check for an error there. It's old Mother Hubbard being out in the third. And we go to Adrian Devine, the pitcher batting. And again, I didn't, got to get into the habit of using the, it's been a while since I played Status Pro. So, nine and a 17. This will be on the pitcher's card, but a 17 is actually a single to um, center field. So uh, that is a base hit by uh, Adrian Devine off of Swan. So that'll reduce Swan one, and it um, puts Adrian Devine up at first with Roland Office up. And 
and that is an 8 and an 86. It will be Swan in charge, and an 86 is an out, and he is an LN. And LN is, uh, I'll go F8, and it was Swan in charge, so that is just a fly out, and there is two down. Here in the third with Divine over at first base and Gary Matthews up. The Sarge. And he gets a 7 and a 74. 7 will be Swan in charge. 74 is an out. And it's he's an RP. I'll go G5, but we will check for the error because of the asterisk. And there is no error. So they get out of the inning. And I haven't been good about keeping the outs here, but... You know, I'm, I'm announcing what they are, so just keep listening, I guess. So we go to the bottom of the third inning with the Mets ahead, one nothing, and, um, and that was the Sarge right there. He was out. And their pitcher is up. Craig Swan is going to bat, and uh, they'll see if Craig Swan can return the favor that Adrian Devine had when he got a single. It is going to be a four. It's going to be off of Adrian Devine's card, and it is a 65, so that's going to be an out. And he um, is a, um, an R, RN, and RN says, I'll go G3, and we will check for the error because of the asterisk. And there is no error. So Swan could not get a hit as his counterpart was able to do here leading off the third, and Elliot. Maddox is up for the Mets. One down here in the third. And that's a 7 and a 65. And that's going to be on Swan's card. And a 65 is an out. He is an RN. And it says RN uh, goes L6 with a possible error. Line out 6. And there is no error. So, um, that's the second out of the inning made by Max. And that brings Lee Mazzilli up. Everybody loved Lee Mazzilli. Didn't you love Lee Mazzilli back in the past? And that is a 2 and a 67. And uh, a 2 is going to be on Divine's card. And a 67 is going to be an out. And he is an SN switch hitter. And uh, that is going to be a G5 with a possible error because of the asterisk. And uh, the error is not. So that is an out. And uh, Mazzilli is out. And the Mets get nothing in the third. It's one nothing going to the top of the fourth inning. And Dale Murphy is the batter. Again, I'm bad about keeping the outs on the out counter. So don't Pay attention to the out counter. It's just a nice yellow token as far as you're concerned. Dale Murphy gets a 4 and a 51. So a 4 is going to be on Craig Swan's card. And, um, a, and a 51 is going to be an out. Craig Swan apparently was a very good pitcher. That's going to be all go F9. So that is an out. There's no asterisk. And it was on the pitcher's card. So... Um, Murphy is out here in the fourth. One of their better hitters, so it's never good when he gets out. And Jeff Burroughs is out. He gets a 10, so that's going to be on Burroughs' card. And it's a 65, though. And 65, though, is a walk. And it's right at the tail end of him being able to get... Oh, there we go. I did get... I'm going to record the out there. So anyway... Uh, but Burroughs walked, so there is one out with a man at first, and that's going to bring up Jerry Royster. Jerry Royster up here in the fourth for the Atlanta Braves. That is a four. It's going to be on Swan's card, and it's a 51. And a 51 is going to be an out, and Royster is an RN. And uh, RN, it says, I'll go G6. So that's going to be a ground out to the shortstop. Um, and we will see if there's an error. And there is none. And we will check the chart to see if that was a double player. All right. So the batter was safe. And it was a force out at second on that play. So there is two down. And um, 
with Royster getting out, or Horn, wait a minute, with Horner, with Horner getting out, and uh, Royster is up. Man at first, two down, 12 is going to be on Royster's card, and it's a 75, that's going to be an out, it's an RN, um, and it says I'll go GX5, so that will be an out unless there's an error here, and there is none, so Royster is out, indeed. And the Atlanta Braves get no runs in the fourth, we go to the bottom of the fourth, and uh, that'll be, Steve Henderson will be the leadoff hitter for the Mets here in the bottom of the fourth that is an eight so it's going to be off of Devine's card it's going to be on Henderson's and he is a that's a 37 and a 37 is going to be a strikeout so we got our first strikeout victim of the game here in the fourth and that brings Willie Montanez up with one down in the uh, home Mets for and six and a 68 so that is going to be just barely on Montanez's card and a 68 is going to be an out he is an LN so we will check that and it says I'll go G3A but it has an asterisk so we'll check for the air and there is no air so Montanez is out and that brings up Bobby Valentine. And he gets a 4 and a 15. So that will be on um, Divine's card. and it's a, But it's a 15 and it is a single to left field. So you got Valentine with a single. And there's been very few hits in this game actually. And that will um, decrease Valen, or, uh, Divine by one. And John Stearns is up. He gets a 6 and a 74. 6 will be on his own card, but 74 is an out. And um, he is a, an RN, so RN says G, G4A with a possible error. But there is no error, and so John Stearns is out. And that is the third out of the inning. And the Mets get nothing in the fourth. We proceed to the top of the fifth inning with Biff Bocaroba up at the plate. And he gets a 12, which is way off the pitcher card. And it's an 11. And an 11 is going to be an infield hit. So uh, Biff Bocaroba leads off the fifth inning for the Braves with a single and that will reduce Craig Swan another one so the Braves with a man at first no outs and Glenn Mother Hubbard up in there bottom of the lineup coming up not good but that's an 8 it's on Swan's card and it's an 88 so that is going to be an out and he is an RN I'll go G4 we will check for the error and uh, it says no error so G4 let's see here what was that G4 with the asterisk so let's check it double play grounder um, so that is going to be two outs and Adrian Devine the pitcher is up now the pitcher today Adrian Devine he's one for one and um, that is an 8, so that'll be on Swan's card, but it's a 37, and a 37 is going to be an out. It is a barely in the out range, and we will check it um, for the, uh, it says I'll go G6 with a possible asterisk, so we will see about the air, and there is none. So, um, Divine was out, and the double play helped the Mets that inning and the Braves came up with nothing we go to the bottom of the fifth in a one nothing game between these two probably a lot like you would have expected this game to go Tim Foley is the batter and uh, that's going to be a five and a 66 now Tim Foley 
um, on Adrian Devine. That is going to be on Tim Foley's card. It's a 66, though. He's an RN for the out, and it's a G1 with an asterisk. And that says 1 to 10, the shortstop. So uh, let's check that error. And uh, it is going to be an error on um, Royster. And it's going to be a one base error. So um, Tim Foley is on by an error here in the bottom of the fifth. And Flynn is up. Flynn, yeah, here we go. I've always tempted to take the card because I'm you're so used to playing play, payoff pitch because I've been doing that a lot lately. Three and a 21 is going to be on, the, on Adrian Devine's card. And... Um, a uh, 21 is, uh, let's see, that's going to be a single to center field. And uh, let's see if I have to check anything. I, uh, I mean, I could send him an extra base, but I'm not going to try to send him a sec uh, an extra base. So... We're just going to stick with the single. We've got two runners on with no outs, and the uh, and the pitcher Craig, Craig Swan batting, and uh, with him batting, I am going to try a sacrifice bunt. He is a sacrifice BB, so we will roll the two eight dice, and it comes up a fifteen, and a fifteen is going to be batter out pitcher to second covering first runners advance one base so a successful sacrifice one out runners at second and third and um, you're gonna have uh, Elliot Maddox up and I suppose the Braves should bring the infield in so they will they'll bring the infield in on this there's one down and that's going to be a five, and it's going to be a 61. So five um, on Craig Swan's card, or wait, on um, Adrian Devine's card. Um, is It's going to be Adrian Devine in charge, actually. And it is a 61, which is going to be a wild pitch. But we will check for the wild pitch to see if that actually happens. So we flip the card and it says no. So there is no wild pitch. So we will go back and just do a replay of, uh, of Elliot Maddox up. That is an eight. Now that's on Maddox's card and it's a 56. And uh, the eight is, or the uh, 56 is going to be uh, an, an out. And he's an RN and we will check the card um, RN says ground out six let's check for an error first there is none but now let's see what happens because the infield was in all right they tried to get uh, the uh, runner at home and they did gunned him out it was Tim Foley was gunned out at the plate so that is going to be two outs and uh, the runner moves from second to third. The runner on second moves to third. So Mazzilli is now up with a runner at third and two down. And that is a nine and a 57. So nine is going to be on Mazzilli's card. 57 isn't out. He is an SN. SN is an F8. And, uh, but it was on Mazzilli's card, so we'll check for the error. And there is none. So it is an out for Mazzilli. And the Mets came close to scoring there in the fifth, but they did not. And we go to the top of the sixth inning. The uh, Braves still only down by one. And both pitchers you know, not really tiring too much here because there isn't really a lot of base running and runs scoring. Although we did, um, we do have to reduce... Um, 
We have to reduce Adrian Devine, I think, two more to catch up for the error in the single that he allowed last inning, this past inning. So, uh, Roland Office is up for the... Um, for the Braves in the sixth inning to lead off the sixth inning. And he is also their leadoff hitter. And that is a three and a 58. So it is going to be on Swan's card and a 58, which is going to be an out. And he is an LN. And uh, LN says G1X. So we will check for the error. And there is no error. So he is out. To lead off the sixth, there's one down with Gary the Sarge Mash Matthews up. And I was about to pick a card again. And that is a five. It's going to be on uh, Swan's card, and it's a 43. Um, and a 43 is going to be an out, and he is an RP. Right-handed power hitter, and that's going to be a G6 uh, star. So we'll check for the error, and there is no error. So Matthews is out, and that brings up Mighty Dale, Dale Murphy. And that is an 8 and an 88. So that is going to be on Swan's card, and it will be an out. Um, and we will check it for uh, the air, and it's all go F8, and there's no asterisk. So he is flying out to center field and out. And the Braves get no runs in the sixth. We go to the bottom of the sixth. One nothing Mets. That's what the score is right here. And again, you might expect that from these two weak teams. Although I'm surprised that Adrian Devine and Craig Swan are both pitching as well as they are. Lee Mazzilli is up, and that is a seven and a um, thirty-two. So it'll be on Mazzilli's card, and a thirty-two is a home run. So Lee Mazzilli goes deep, and now they have real... Oh, wait a minute. No, Lee Mazzilli was uh, the last... That was the batter last inning, so this was Steve Henderson. And uh, what was that? 32? It might still be... No, it's a triple. It's going to be a triple to center field. Sorry! <laughs> so Dave Henderson triples to center field, and um, now the... Uh, the uh, Braves are in real trouble. Willie Montanez is up. Willie Montanez gets a 4 and an 85. So Adrian Devine is in, in charge on that. And also let's reduce him one. And uh, that is going to be an out. And he is an LN. And an LN is going to be a G6 with a star. And uh, we will see about that. And it is no error. Um, but the run would score because the infield was back. So that is an out. They just let the run score. And Bobby Valentine is up. One out. And another run comes in, and it's 10 and 61. So uh, Valentine is in charge, but a 61 is an out. That's an RN. And RN is a G1. We will check for the error on Divine, and there is no error. So Valentine is indeed out. And that brings John Stearns to the plate. And that is a 9 and an 87. So it'll be on his card. It'll be on Stearns' card, but he's an RN. And um, RN says uh, F8. You can see right there. And uh, But it is on Stearns' card, so we will check for the error. And the error says none. So he is out. And that is three outs. But the Mets get another run, and they have a 2 nothing lead. Um, the Braves choosing to yield that run, thinking based on, and I don't know really what the thinking was, that um, they would be able to score two runs when they've come six innings already and haven't scored any. But Jeff Burroughs is up.
Maybe they're thinking Craig Swan should be wearing down here shortly. Top of the seventh inning, it's 2-0 Mets. And you have an 8 and a 62. And uh, Swan will be in charge, and a 62 um, is going to be um, an F8, and that is just an out. So Burroughs is gone here in the seventh to lead off the seventh with Bob Horner up. And Bob Horner gets a 5 and a 32. That is on Swan's card, and it is going to be a strikeout. So Horner is the um, is a strikeout victim, the first strikeout victim for the Braves, but they are behind 2-0. And Jerry Royster is the batter. And he gets a 10 and an 11. So it'll be on his own card. And it's going to be an 11. It's an, in ba it's an infield base hit. So Royster gets a hit. And um, that will reduce Swan another one. And that brings Biff Pokoroba to the plate. And he gets a 5 and an 11. That's going to be on Swan's card too, but that's also an infield base hit. So they've got two back-to-back -back infield base hits. That'll reduce Swan another one. And now all of a sudden, maybe the Braves were right. Maybe he is tiring. Glenn Mother Hubbard. Is and he gets a 2 and it's going to be, well, it's going to be on his card and it's an 85 though. So that's an out. And he is an RN. RN is an L6, a line out 6, and, um, and it was on the pitcher's card, so there is no error. So that is just the, um, well, that's, I mean, that's it. That's a line out 6, and that's it. So the Braves did not score any runs there. And they got, they got no runs in the seventh. We go to the bottom of the seventh. Tim Foley is the batter. That is a two and a 57. So it is on Adrian Devine's card. And a 57 is going to be a wild pitch. But that doesn't matter with no run on. So we will redo it. And that is a, an 8 and a 41. 8 and a 41, that will be on Foley's card. And it is going to be an out. And we will check it. He is an RN. RN is an F2, but it was on Foley's card, so we'll check for the error. There was no error, so Foley is out. Here in the bottom of the 7th. With Doug Flynn, Dougie Flynn, coming up. And that is an 11, and an 11 is going to be a CD, but it's not, and so we'll just ignore it because there's nobody on, and uh, it is a 37. So it's on Doug Flynn's card, 37, which is an out, and he is an RN and we look at that it says all go G3 we look at for the error and it is 4 to 10 um, on the first baseman for the Braves and that is Murphy and he is a 4 and so let's see the error is 1 so that is a 1 base error by Murphy Flynn getting aboard on the error and that brings up the pitcher, and uh, they will um, sacrifice with him. He is a BB, as we had said previously, so we'll roll the dice. And that is a 55, and a 55 with a sacrifice BB is a batter out, third to first, runner's advance. So it is a good sacrifice. Runner moves to second. And uh, that is the second sacrifice for Swan. He's had two chances for that, and he's been two for two on them. And so now there is two outs, though, with a man at second and Elliot Maddox, the batter. 
And this is always the problem I have with the sacrifice, is you're saying the guy is almost automatically going to be out, and if he makes the second out as he did here, then this has to be a base hit. Four guy, or he has to stay alive, or whatever. Eight, and an 83. And that is Maddox, and it's going to be on Maddox's card, but it's an 83, so he is, uh, he is in the out range. He's an RN, and RN is an F2, but it was on his card. We'll check for the air, and there is none. So they get out in that inning. Maddox is the third out, and no runs come across in the seventh. We go to the top of the eighth. Now, the leadoff batter for the Braves is Adrian Devine, so they're going to pinch hit for Adrian Devine here. All right, the pinch hitter will be Rod Gilbert. He is pinch hitting for the pitcher, Adrian Devine. And that is a 6 and a 53. It's going to be on um, Swan's card, and it is an out. It's in the out range. He's an RN, and an RN is an L6. We will check for the air on that play, and there is none. So Gilbreth is out leading off the 8th for the Braves. And that brings up Roland Office. Roland Office gets a 7. That'll be on um, Craig Swan's card and a 51. And that is going to be an out. We will check it. It's He's an LN. I'll go G4X, but we'll check for the error. And error 10. And there is, let's see, third base. Yes, indeed. Valentine is an error 10, so, and the type of error is a two base error. So, the runner that's at second right now, he is the new runner at second. There wasn't one there before, but now there is. It's a two base error by Valentine on Roland Office that puts him at second and brings up the Sarge, Gary Matthews. That's an 11, so it will be on Matthews's card, and it's an 80, but it's an 88. He's an RP. RP is I'll go G six four X whatever, but there is no error, um, and it is a G. It's a G four. So let's see if the runner moves over. As I thought, the runner goes to third, and so you've got a man at third now, with. Um, two down and Murphy up. That's exactly the man they want to see in this situation. And it's a six, so it's on Swan's card. And also we have to reduce him again. I forgot to do that. And it is a 15 and a 15 is going to be a base hit. It's a base hit to center field and scores the run. So Murphy does come through for them. And knocks in a run, so that is going to be a hit and a run. And uh, Swan is almost done. And we know that uh, Devine is done because he was pinch hit for. And Burroughs is up. And um, that is a 7, which is on his card. And it's a 16, and that's going to be another base hit. That is a base hit to center field. They're going to play station to station, though. Um, and that reduces Swan another one, and he is really almost gassed now. And Bob Horner is the batter. And that's going to be a 12, which is going to be a BD, and he is a, a, a BD1. So let's check that. Okay, it said no action occurs, so return to normal play, which means we're going to re-roll Bob Horner, I suppose. And that is an 8, so it is on Swan's card, and it is a 43, and that is going to be an out, and he is an RP. And uh, it says I'll go um, F4, and that was on Swan's card still for the moment, so there's no error. And Horner is out. And uh, that is going to be the third out.
So the Braves do come up with a run in the eighth and make it two to one. So this is a tight one, everyone. A very tight game here. And I'm going to reshuffle the cards. And Lee Mazzilli is the batter to lead off the bottom of the eighth for the Mets. With the Mets leading by the slimmest of leads, 2-1. to one. That is a 7. And oh, by the way, Craig Scott is the new um, Atlanta pitcher. So, um, and he is an RR10. So we'll put the counter back to 10. And it is an eight, and he is not in charge. It will be Mazzilli, and Mazzilli 81 is going to be an out. It's an SN. It's in the out range. SN is a G6A. We will check for the error, and there is no error. So Mazzilli is out. That brings up Steve Henderson. Did I say Dave Henderson when I introduced him? Oh, we're not checking the card. We're, first, we have to do the dice. Uh, that is an 11, which is uh, going to be a CD, except it won't be. So it's just going to be off of Steve Henderson's card. And it is a 15, which is going to be a base hit to left field. So Steve Henderson gets a hit. And that brings up Willie Montanez with a man on and one down. And that's going to be a three. It'll be on Scock's card. And it's a 44. And a 44 on Scock's card is a walk. So there are two runners on. Scock not doing a very good job here. And uh, Bobby Valentine is the batter with two on and only one out here in the eighth inning. And that's a seven, which will be on Valentine's card, but it is a 68, and he is in the out range. He's an RN. We checked the RN, and it says all go F7, but it's off the batter's card, so we'll check for an error, and there is no error. So he is out. And uh, that brings up John Stearns. And John Stearns with a 5. That is on Scott's card. But it's an 11. And that is going to be an infield base hit. So the bases are juiced now with Mets. With 2 out and Tim Foley up. Probably not what you want to see if you're a Mets fan. But... Let's see what happens. It's an 11, and an 11 is a CD, and we will check the CD. We the right fielder. He is a CD zero. We'll roll the dice. It is a 36, and a 36 on a CD zero is uh, going to be no action occurs. Return to normal play. So we're going to re-roll for Mr. Tim Foley. And that, that is a 5 and a 44. That is still on Scott's card. And a 44 is going to be a walk. And he walks in a run. So now the Mets have a two-run lead back. And that is going to be... In fact, actually, I think there was like three occurrences here. that, um, And then a run. So Scott is already down to six. And with Doug Flynn up, they're just going to let Doug Flynn hit. And uh, he gets an 8 and an 81. Um, and that is going to be on his own card. But it is an out. And he is an RN. And uh, this says, I'll go G4X. And uh, there is no error, but let's see what the G... X, uh, GX6 is maybe a double play, which would get them out of the inning. And it turns out that was a double play. So um, they are out of the inning, but they did score a run. And so now we go to the top of the ninth with the Braves down three to one. And they are the and they are batting and Craig Swan is trying to finish this bad boy out. Royster will be the batter to lead off for Atlanta. There may be a pinch hitter or two in this inning, but remember it's the Atlanta Braves of 1978. So 
it's questionable that they even have anybody. That's a 10 and a 16. So it would be on Royster's card. And a 16 is going to be a base hit to left field. So he gets a single. Royster is aboard. And that does reduce Swan to a 2. He's trying to hang on. He's trying desperately to reach back and hang on here. This Pokoroba is up. And that is an 8. It will be on his card since he is not tired yet. And it's a 36 though. And a 36 is going to be a wild pitch, but we'll check for the wild pitch. And uh, yes, it is a wild pitch. So that the runner goes to second, and Biff Pokoroba is still up. And I don't know. I'm going to reduce him one. I think you probably would want to do that. And so that's a 7 and a 41. Craig Swan, for the moment, still in charge. And a 41, that is going to be an out. He is an SN. Let's see what happens on that play. Uh, that is a G4, but we will check for the error. There is none, but he does go to, to third base, and now you got a runner 90 feet away. Unfortunately, he is no longer the tying run because the Mets did get one in the bottom of the eighth. So this run is practically meaningless to the Braves. But Pokerobo was out. So there's one out with a uh, runner 90 feet away and uh, an old Mother Hubbard. And I don't know how old he was in 1978, but he's up there at the plate. And it's a 7, and it is a 62. And that is going to be an out. And we will see um, he is an RN. And RN is an, a line out three. So there is two away. And um, that brings up the pitcher. So there will be a pinch hitter for the Braves. Be, no, it will be, it'll be Barry Bunnell. Barry Bunnell is going to pinch hit here in the ninth. Two down. Runner at third. Craig Swan nearly tired. That is a 5. It's on Swan's card. And it's a 77. It's in the out range. He is an RN. We see what RN is. And that's an F7. And it was on the pitcher card. And there's no asterisk. So that is an out. And that is your final score. The Atlanta Braves go down in defeat to the New York Mets of 1978 by the score of 3-1. to one. And that will be it for me, Sportsman Z. Bob Zolke, signing off.